to all of you. It is truly a, a great pleasure for me to welcome our protagonistas series featured invited person, Dr. Vilu Murawala Patel, CEO and founder of Avestagen, a leading Indian biotech company that we are proud to say is a partner of Venture Lab the Transfer Technology Center of Adolfo Ibanez Business School. Dear Vilu, we are eager to know how is it that you came to think the way you think, to believe the way you believe, to act the way you act. Welcome once again. The stand is all yours. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. I really respect what you have said, and it has been a great pleasure being here. And uh, I've got to know all of you here in these few days. My friends, Manuel, uh, who, you know, brought me to Chile and uh, made sure that uh, the South American operations begin here. And all my other friends uh, who I have met in the past few days, I'm really happy to be here and also among uh, the, I see the students, the young faces, and uh, it's really, really interesting. And uh, I think, uh, this is the beginning, actually, of uh, where we go global in so many ways. And uh, we've been in many countries, but uh, the Chilean experience is completely new to me. I've never been in South America. So I'm looking and observing and absorbing as we move along. I started from uh, less than the Venture Lab space. Uh, when I came back from a PhD, uh, I decided when I would set up a uh, bridge between academia and industry, uh, I didn't have a place. And so I went and knocked on the doors of Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and I said, give me some space. I need to build uh, a company or a platform that bridges academia and industry. They said, okay, you know, we, we've seen many guys like you, but we can't give space. And uh, so I had to actually fight for the star space to put my feet on the ground in as recent as 1995. So 2001, uh, we were there with just five students. I was there with five students when the first investment arrived. And today, you know, just before the markets fell, we were 700 people and we were already global. I think the model was right. And uh, the model was right because it was way ahead of its time. Um, people found it interesting and uh, there was a certain person there who was fighting to make it come alive. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a question of self-realization today when I stand back looking at those eight years. And uh, also to be here in a new country and starting, shall I say, the putting down roots in, for South America, for Avestagen, with my partners here. I just want to basically summarize a few thoughts and why this company came about. So the start of my journey began years ago when I was a little girl. I always knew that I had to do a lot for our country. The motivation for my work has not been so much with the agenda to create wealth, which, will, which came consequentially, but as a start of success, but more to build a long-lasting and solid institution that would be, bring in its wake much, much wealth and happiness to our teeming millions. As an entrepreneur, I have never approached entrepreneurship from the point of thrills and rewards for me. It has been more a creative journey of self-realization and a labor of love. So anyway, I think I have lived through all of this in these last eight years. And uh, it's all about taking huge risks uh, while your commitment is deep and strong. And it's about making a change and uh, carrying the people with you. So it's really a leadership exercise. So to recognize avant-garde ideas and people and give them a place in the country and in history is a difficult achievement. And uh, we have all faced it, I'm sure, as entrepreneurs. And uh, uh, it was very difficult to establish, find a place, you know, put together everything, raise the finance. Uh, so it's a difficult task. So it's not, not to be belittled. Yes, you can build a company, but there is a whole sense of sustainability, you know, to sustain it, stand with it through thick and thin and make it uh, reach the next goal and next, there's nothing easy about this and 
uh, you know, when I began in 2001, the first, okay, you got your first venture capital. Then I blew it up in one and a half year. And I was broke again. You know, you went on from there and built again. And when the product started busy, becoming visible, you brought in the partners. So uh, it's a little bit one step for, I would say, two steps forward and one step backward. So that's the process of entrepreneurship, if your passion is right. Perhaps no ingredient is more important to business success than innovation. Innovation is no longer regarded as an exclusive preserve of R&D, but rather as the best approach for managing the risk of today's uncertain business environment. Innovation must become part of the core competency of every part of the organization and its network of business partners. Our approach to biotechnology was one of uh, one such new reality. Instead of starting with a molecule that might be therapeutic and hoping to find a disease target, a systems biology approach starts with a target or a disease phenotype and then logically develops a therapeutic. India is forging ahead in among developing countries in towards by developing biosimilars, generic drugs, novel biopharmaceuticals, diagnostics and new seed. In addition, India today has become a destination of choice for providing world-class research, clinical and manufacturing services to the global industry. I'm very humbled by the fact that you all have considered us as one of the companies which to invite us here to be part of your new innovation experience at Venture Lab. And I'm proud to be here. If India and Chile and countries like us have to lead and succeed in this technology, we have to innovate. It requires institutions, governments, and daredevil entrepreneurs. If we say that this is what you need to stabilize the country, uh, the company, to form a sustainable model of innovation, you need to raise funds. So fundraising is another art form. And so most people, when you go as an innovator to raise funds, they take you as a dreamer. So. What I say is, it's not only for dreamers, innovation concepts. They are a reality and it is an opportunity today. Due to the breakdown of certain myths, the world is a fresh, clean slate today. Where new events are being written for this century and the future. It's really the opportunity to, it's clean. Actually, the old dogmas have all moved out. Okay, they exist and there are things happening, you know. But it's really a clean slate, it's over. It's the time now for all you young people to rewrite history. The time has arrived. So just to, I would like to just say that all this requires a very different thought process and we have to think out of the box, change fundamental thinking from, you know, classic uh, laid down books. I know we all rely on books to study, but sometimes the books don't tell you what you really need to do. There's the huge challenge now that we f I face as a leader is to make the transition into the market and the sales marketing forces um, getting there and uh, so which is a totally different ball game from innovation and uh, that's my challenge innovation I, I think we have done we can take the tick, up, tick mark for that but today the biggest challenge after having raised this kind of money the responsibility lies on us to make sure that the products reached the market and reached the consumer. And that's where today I face one of the biggest challenges. So ultimately what I want to end with, we end with the satisfaction of having stabilized the company, its model of convergence of food pharma population genetics leading to predictive, preventive, personalized healthcare. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.